want to spend a moment just talking about the differences that Secretary Clinton and I have on the environment. And I start off by telling you that as a member of the Environmental Committee and the Energy Committee in the Senate, I believe that there is no longer a debate. Climate change is real. Climate change... <laughs> Climate change is caused by human activity. Climate change is already causing horrific problems in our country and all over the world. And those problems will become much, much more severe if we do not act boldly in transforming our energy system away from fossil fuel to energy efficiency and sustainable energy. This is an issue which is a planetary crisis, obviously not just in our country, but all over the world. The United States has got to lead the effort working with China, India, Russia, countries all over the world in moving away boldly and quickly from fossil fuel. Let me just talk about some of the differences that Secretary Clinton and I have on that issue. Some of you are aware of the Keystone Pipeline. Keystone Pipeline was excavating and, and transporting some of the dirtiest fuel on this planet. I opposed that pipeline from the very beginning. I helped lead the opposition in the Congress against that pipeline and was delighted that finally President Obama killed it. And if I'm elected president, that pipeline will never be revived. It is dead forever. <laughs> Secretary Clinton originally was saying very nice things about that pipeline. Under a lot of pressure, she eventually opposed it. But when we deal with the crisis of climate change, you have got to know who has been out there first and strongest. I am proud to have introduced the most comprehensive climate change legislation in the history of the United States Senate. And among other things, it takes the very bold and controversial step of imposing a tax on carbon emissions. Now, I recognize that this is a bold and reasonably radical idea, but given the crisis that we face and given the need, the moral imperative, to leave this planet in a way that is healthy and habitable to our children and our grandchildren, I think that that is the right thing to do. <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, Secretary Clinton does not support a tax on carbon. I have consistently opposed offshore drilling in the Arctic, in the Gulf, and in the Atlantic, Secretary Clinton has not. And as I drink this water, let me mention to you that in the coming years, one of the great crises facing our planet and this country will be whether or not we have adequate supplies of clean and fresh drinking water. And that is why I want to see fracking phased out.
We cannot poison the aquifers all over this country and all over the world. I will phase out fracking. Secretary Clinton, when she was Secretary of State, actually pushed this technology on countries throughout the world. I would end and introduce legislation to end fossil fuel extraction on public lands. If we are serious about transforming our energy system, we should not be digging up and extracting more oil from land that we own. Bottom line here, bottom line here is that if we fully appreciate what an extraordinary crisis we face, and by the way, the scientists tell us that if we don't get our act together, by the end of this century, our planet could be five to 10 degrees warmer, Fahrenheit warmer. What we have got to do is be extremely aggressive and take on the fossil fuel industry and tell them loudly and clearly that their short-term profits are not worth more than the future of our planet.